Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Story of My Teeth by Valeria Lucielli. Valeria Lucielli is a Mexican and Italian author who was born in Mexico and this story was actually a collaboration that she did with a bunch of factory workers that are down in Mexico City. She sort of like collaborated with them to get the story and to write it all and things like that. So it was very interesting when I found that out. In this book you are following this man who sort of later on in life becomes an auctioneer and becomes obsessed with collecting the teeth of famous people or the teeth of famous people whether or not they actually belong to the famous people is kind of gray and so he becomes this auctioneer who travels around the world selling his own possessions to be able to acquire these teeth which is just like the base of the story itself there's a lot more happening in this book but i don't want to talk about that because i feel like part of what is so enjoyable about this book is the unique sort of format that's happening here. This is a pretty short book, it's less than 300 pages long. I read the whole thing in one sitting, like in one evening, and I highly recommend that anyone else who picks this up do something similar. Pick up this book when you have like a full evening to sort of devote to reading and to get through this book because I think that the format sort of lends itself to that one sitting style. The way this book is set up is that you sort of see like a small detail of what's going on and then with each like chapter or section your scope gets a little bit wider and a little bit wider and so you're seeing sort of the same story over and over again but you're getting more details and more perspective on what's actually happening in the situation. So what you think the story is about in the beginning and what you see what the story is actually about at the end are similar but two also different things. This book is definitely a page turner, or at least it was for me, just because it has that sort of, I don't want to say mysterious, but there is this sort of like intriguing aspect happening in here because you get sort of like this small sample at the beginning and you're like, okay, and then you see a little bit more and you're like, okay, there's clearly a lot more happening here and you keep going and you keep going to see sort of like what new details you're going to get every time you read a new section. And so it keeps the page just turning and so I feel like that in and of itself is a credit to this book. I ended up giving this book a 3 out of 5 stars. There is like a level of pretentiousness that's happening in this book that I'm never really a big fan of. I mean you can debate all you want about what pretend what is pretentious and whether or not there is any value in those things but personally I'm always just slightly put off by those things. Maybe I'm just sort of like the anti-snob so whenever I sense any sort of snobbery around a book I already like cringe a little bit but it was a delightful read and I feel like docking it to anything lower than a three star would be sort of false. I think that what's happening in here again is just very unique and very original and I really enjoy how this book is structured. I think that's probably my favorite part of the book. It's sort of this like weird and odd and wacky plot that's happening in this book but there also is like this deeper meaning happening underneath that sort of weird and wacky plot that gives it a lot of groundedness to the actual story to provide it some sort of like realism in the sort of like surreal world that's happening here. I don't want to say surreal. Surreal would give you the wrong sense of what's happening here but it's just sort of like wacky. Like the storyline is a little bit out there but it's sort of out there in a slightly more fun way. So it's one of those books where you sort of just have to go along with what you hear happening in the story and whether or not these things are actually like plausible or actually happening like I said in the beginning whether or not these are actually the teeth of famous people that he's discussing things like that you kind of just have to go along with what the narrator's telling you and then just sort of let the details be revealed to you as they go along so yeah like I said three out of five stars for this book really interesting very unique it's very difficult to talk about this book without talking about it to people who have already read it because there's a lot in this book and in the merit of the book because of the way that everything is sort of revealed towards the end and the way that the story is structured itself. So if you haven't experienced that before it's hard to talk about it. The closest thing that I could think of when it came to this book was when I was reading The Dinner by Herman Coach or Co his, That book is also set up in a very unique way in the sense of like each section is named after a course of dinner or a course of a meal. The page length sort of matches up with what the course would actually be set up like. It's very interesting as well. It's This book isn't set up like that but it's the closest like comparison I could think of myself at least in terms of what I've read. So I feel like this is a book worth picking up if you are interested in like Mexican authors, if you're interested in sort of more like modern or postmodern literature, this is definitely one worth picking up. Is this going to ring everyone's bells? Absolutely not, obviously, because it is super weird and super unique, but I still found it to be 
pretty enjoyable, which is why I gave it three stars. So yeah, those are my quick thoughts on The Story of My Teeth by Valeria Lucielli. If you've read this book, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Just based on my Goodreads, I can tell that a lot of people really, really enjoyed it, which is great. So definitely talk to me down in the comment section because I'd love to talk about this book with people who've read it. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.